Okay. Larry Anglosato reporting for Aviation Consumer here at Southern Fund 2016 in Lakeland, Florida. Now, Avidon comes to the show this year with a variety of new products and upgrades to its IFD series navigators. To tell us more about it, here's Avidon's Tom Harper. So we've got some exciting announcements here at Sun and Fun. We've got uh, new announcements on our IFD products. We're adding synthetic vision to all of them. Plus, we've announced a new model, the IFD 550, and an iPad app called the IFD 100. Okay, what we're looking at here is the IFD 100, which is the new iPad app that's designed to work closely with the panel-mounted IFDs, whether it's the 440 or the 540 or the new 550. So it essentially acts as an extra IFD in the cockpit. It uses the GPS that's communicating wirelessly to the iPad, so for position information, any ADSB weather and traffic will be sent over on the Wi-Fi. But I can control this as a separate IFD. I can have synthetic vision right on my big screen map. This is a great addition for a lot of cockpits that don't have room for big glass. You can install a panel mounted 440 and have a big glass right on your IFD, whether it's the iPad Pro uh, or uh, uh, iPad Mini. Here you can see the 3D traffic. You've got uh, uh, 3D synthetic vision. You can have your plan view map. You can do your flight planning right on the big glass. Tune your radios and everything. Look at your approach charts. Everything's got the pinch zoom. It behaves just like the 440. Here you're looking at the IFD 550. This is the newest of our IFD products. If you notice, it, it's the exact same size as an IFD 540, but we've added an extra page button called Synthetic Vision. And as you can see, we've got a full out the window 3D dynamic synthetic vision. And what allows us to do that is it's got an integrated ARS attitude reference system built into the box. This allows us to have a pitch ladder and we can actually see roll and pitch on the display. We still have all the full synthetic vision capability on the map, <coughs> plus we have the uh, dynamic synthetic vision as well. So it's everything the 540 is plus dynamic synthetic vision. It's a great product and we think it's going to uh, be a very interesting addition to a lot of cockpits. And of course with the integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it will also work with the uh, IFD 100 on the iPad. Another cool feature that we announced at the show is the ability of the 540s and the 550 to uh, accept RS-170 video input. So if you have a, a, a synthetic vision, I'm sorry, an enhanced vision camera or uh, maybe a lipstick camera to see the landing gear coming up, um, you can put that right on the display. Uh, that's going to be really helpful for customers that have limited panel space and uh, would like to have a video display, helicopters especially. We've also added radar capability, so it will take uh, Benix King digital radar input and you can either have it as a dedicated radar page or as an overlay on your map. So our new products, the IFD 550 starts at $21,999 and IFD 100 is a no charge, it's included with every IFD. So anyone who owns an IFD today can download the IFD 100 free of charge. And then the R10-2 software, which adds synthetic vision to all of our IFDs, that's a free download as well. All of these products will be available in the next couple of months, hopefully by July. Now you read about these new Avidine products in a future issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer here at Sun and Fun 2016, I'm Larry Anglesano. Thanks for watching.